watching Movie Guide. I'm Evie Bear, and I'm here with Gary Brown, who is a Western lover, and we are in the Lone Pine History Film Museum in Lone Pine. What a great place to be, right, Evie? Yeah, this is a place that they did a lot of Western movies, and you love Westerns. You know everything about Westerns, right? Well, I don't know <laughs> about that, but I'm trying. Yeah. But as a young boy, my grandfather used to take me to a double feature Western show in Republic, Missouri. Wow. For a quarter we get in and we could watch two cowboy heroes and a cartoon and newsreel and a, a chapter out of a, a Western surreal. So That's what awesome. a great period of time in my life. And that was the height of Westerns, right? The it was. The 40s and the 50s. It, it was, at least for me, but it started back in the the, the teens, if you will. Okay. And uh, they started filming in the silent era here in uh, Lone Pine. And today, they're still filming. Yeah. Most recently, uh, they had Django Unchained and they had Iron Man. And so, Lone Pine is the place to be. And Gary, they shot a lot of movies here, but that rock was a crane shot on a Gunga Den village up in India, just before the Himalaya Mountains. And these mountains had to serve as the Himalayas, they had to serve as the Sierra Nevada, they had to serve as the Rockies. They served as a lot of different mountains and it's just a beautiful vista here. A lot of them, in fact, uh, we'll try and find a location where you had the suspension bridge in Gunga Den where they take the elephant across. It'll amaze you. You think in the movie it was about a thousand feet deep. You'll find out it was only Hollywood. Only Hollywood. So here we are in one of the nicest Hollywood sets. It's gorgeous. You couldn't ask for a better, better location. So this is the, the main lobby of the museum. And one thing you see as you walk in here, of course, is uh, this is the wagon from the, the dental wagon from Django. I'm here with Bob Sigmund. He is the director of the Lone Pine Film History Museum. Correct. And this museum started in 2006, right? That's correct. Tell us a little bit about the startup of it. Well, Lone Pine has been, uh, they've been making movies, Hollywood's been making movies since the early 1900s, 1920, with Fatty Arbuckle Roundup, the first film made here. And the community celebrated that, uh, celebrated Hollywood being here for all those years. Yeah. And in the uh, mid 1980s, uh, a gal named uh, Carrie Powell had an idea to stimulate the economy here in Lone Pine to have a, an annual film festival. So they reached out to the uh, Hollywood community and in, in, in October of 1989 had the first film festival. It's called the Eastern Sierra Festival at that time. And that was the beginning. This past year we celebrated 25 years. So wow. had a wonderful film festival, a couple thousand people here. So Bob, what do we have here? Okay, well, John Wayne made a number of movies up here, and this is the actual coat he wore in The Shootist. And if you get Great close, movie. you actually can see the bullet holes. This is uh, a tribute to the early years, as we come around from the 101 Ranch in that early period. This is where we pay homage to those, uh, those early uh, Jack Hoxie, Tom Mix, and you can see Ken Maynard, and, and then we have a lot of memorabilia. This room uh, has recently gone through a uh, change. It historically uh, represented a post-war period where women became more prevalent in films. Not only you started to see them in the lobby cards and the posters, but as director, Ida Lupino got involved in directing. This is the actual worm <laughs> that was used ah. in the movie. And we have, uh, on one of the roads, they had uh, buried a steel cable and then they towed it and ripped up the highway as the worm is going across. And that, that was always a famous site for people to go see until recently when they repaved the roads. Uh -huh. You can't see that anymore. But next year is the 25th anniversary. That's great. So yeah, everybody's going to have to look it up. We're having more info on movieguide.org. Thank you so much for talking with me. Thank you very much.